Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Yesterday, William Ruto was in Homer Bay County. In what we were told, he was there to do a fundraising for AIC Church, Homer Bay. Though his tour later degenerated into a political tour, a political rally. And that tour of William Ruto yesterday has really been causing a lot of political debate and reactions, especially in the Luo Nation. And some of the reactions we did analyze in our earlier videos. In case you missed some of the reactions, look at this one. Meru wakati huru watu wanakufa bwana kuna makanisa kule bwana president na kuomba tu bwana president kama president ya Kenya shiriki kule pia dua shida zao acha ni Nolan yule ana tutaki maendeleo tumezoea upinzani na tunakaa hapo hatutaki kwa sababu tutaki vita ambayo itakuwa inatuongo inaongwa watu zetu ndio vitu zetu zidi kuchukuliwa hatutaki acha tukana bahari zetu acha tukana barabara zetu wacha hizo kambuni zetu zote ambayo watu wote ambao walikula na serikali acha hizo soni lale huko hatutaki fufue soni kwanza kukuomba kwanza fanyia baringo kazi baringo hakuna maji usalama njaa umaskini kukosa kuenda shule vitu tano <laughs> Mr President sa Mr President sa na kuomba kama mkenya achana na nyanza tuko na maji tuko na stima tuko na everything pamoja na barabara achana na sisi fanya kazi turukana Mr President fanya kazi tena riba bwana president na kuomba kama rais ya Kenya watu wa baringo wanakufa juu ya njaa wanakufa juu ya maji watu wa tena riba wanakufa juu ya maji achana na nyanza Makanisa pia bwana president imejengwa baringo si uende maeneo pale bwana usikie maneno yao bwana msa president na kuomba president ya Kenya yes those are some of the reactions following William Ruto's yesterday tour to Homer Bay and in our earlier videos i did analyze them in details in this video right now i want to explain five reasons that took Ruto to Homer Bay. Before we do that, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. The first reason. William Ruto was yesterday in Homer Bay to start his 2027 presidential campaigns. William Ruto wants to open new frontiers that never voted for him in this year's other elections. And he's starting with Nyanza. That's a very clever strategy on the side of William Ruto. In that he's starting his 2027 campaigns even before his political competitors realize his competitors I know I still may be confused. William Ruto is already campaigning for 2027. He was in Homer Bay to campaign and is campaigning for 2027. Secondly, William Ruto was in Homer Bay yesterday to see on how the on how the the Luo nation all residents of Homer Bay were going to react. And I'm saying that because William Ruto, before other presidential elections, he was complaining that Raila Odinga was organizing goons to block his tours and trips in the Luo Nation. So maybe he went there to confirm or to check whether the goons are still there. So Ruto went to Homer Bay yesterday to see on how residents of Homer Bay were going to react. That's also a reason that I'm seeing took William Ruto to Homer Bay yesterday. And then the third reason, William Ruto was in Homer Bay County yesterday to boast to the Luo Nation. He wanted to tell the Luo Nation that is now the president 
And the Luo nation can do nothing. I'm now the president, Mutadu. That's what took William Ruto to Homer Bay County. And in my honest opinion, assuming the elected leaders could have attended that William Ruto's meetings and functions, he could have used that occasion to attack and to belittle their elected leaders. So he was there to tell the Luo nation that I'm now the president and you can do nothing about that about it. And that is so again, because Ruto knows for a fact that the Luo nation are still bitter of his presidency. The Luo nation sees Ruto as somebody who snatched their victory. William Ruto rigged their victory. He rigged himself in. Yes. So Ruto went there to tell them that even though you are saying all that, I'm the president and you can do nothing. The fourth reason, Ruto was in Homer Bay to undermine Raila Amolo Odinga. And I'm saying that based on the leaders who accompanied William Ruto, some of the leaders who accompanied Raila, William Ruto in Homer Bay are known Raila's sworn enemies. Leaders who are known that they cannot eat on the same table with Raila Odinga. One such leader being Obado. Mm. Yes. Obado. And some of the leaders who are actually bitter with Raila Muru Odinga because they feel Raila denied them ODM party tickets. Those are the leaders who accompanied William Ruto yesterday in Homer Bay. And when they were given a chance to speak, they were throwing some salvos and jabs to Raila Mulodinga. Yes, they were somehow shadow boxing Raila Odinga. Mm. So it's clear Ruto went to Homer Bay to undermine Raila Mulu Odinga. And also, if you look at leaders who accompanied him, especially from the mountain, leaders such, such as Ndidi Nyoro, these are known Raila haters. And they were there, they were given the podium to spoo their kind of nonsense. So Ruto in my honest opinion, was in Homer Bay to undermine Raila Molodinga. And I'm saying that because of the leaders he, he accompanied, he, who accompanied him, they are known Raila Odinga sworn enemies. And then the, when they were given the podium to address the people, it's as if they were throwing salvos to Raila Odinga. And then the fifth reason we were meant to believe that Ruto was in Homer Bay to do a fundraising for AIC Church Homer Bay. So he, it, it, it might also be true that he was there to do a fundraising for AIC Church Homer Bay. That's also a reason. Yes, that's also a reason. But the, 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 the ones I've started with or are the ones I've highlighted, I'm seeing those are the main reasons that took Ruto to Homer Bay. The church fundraising was just maybe a by the way, or it was just an excuse for William Ruto to achieve his main agendas, which I've just explained. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But before I stop, just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to any other person who wants to have a discussion at church or to share information with me or even to support this channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or you can channel any contribution, any any support to the number. And to those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, again, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you.
Oh, yes.